Welcome to Mixology AF. Today we are going to make a Paloma, but we're going to make it a little bit fancy. Uh, before we get started, remember to hit subscribe. Um, so why is it fancy? It's fancy because I made, it's not maple syrup, I made my own salted grapefruit cordial. So a, it's very exciting I know, um, so a Paloma traditionally is basically tequila, grapefruit soda, and a squeeze of lime. You probably don't need a tutorial for that. Maybe you do. I'm not going to judge. I'm the last person who should judge. Um, so we're going to make it a little bit fancy. I will include the recipe um, in the notes for the salted grapefruit cordial. It's super easy. Some grapefruit peel, throw it in some sugar with a little bit of salt. That's the magic. Uh, for 24 hours, then add some grapefruit juice and s maybe just grapefruit juice. I can't remember. Look in the notes. I'll tell you. Um, and shake it all up and then let it sit. Uh, so this bottle, coincidentally, that will make you 370 mils. Uh, literally, it was exactly, it exactly fit in this bottle. Uh, you can see I've been experimenting with this drink and the experiments have paid off. So it was inspired by Serious Eats, um, so full credit and great inspiration, thank you. Uh, if you don't happen to have on hand your salted grapefruit cordial, honestly just some grapefruit juice and some club soda is fine, or soda water, uh, or if you've got grapefruit soda, that is also fine. Um, in addition to that you will want Traditionally, it's lime juice. I'm going with lemon to offset the sweetness of the cordial. So fancy. Uh, tequila reposado and some Campari. Campari. Um, I don't remember if I've told you before, but I recently accidentally bought Campari instead of Aperol. So I've been on the hunt for a few more Aperol cocktails. So if you have any suggestions, please do let me know. All right, let's get started. We have 20 mils of lemon juice. That was, in this case, about half a lemon. Uh, the grapefruit cordial, sorry, salted grapefruit cordial. Uh, again, I'm going to use about 20 mils. And then 50 mils of the tequila. Twenty-five of the Campari. Throw that in. Top it up with a little ice, which is stuck to the. There we go. Nothing like a little bit of extra noise. Anyway, uh, excuse my hands. They are clean, and it's my drink. So there we go. That's everything. Lid on tight. Give it a good shake. Always me and the shakers. Some fresh ice in your glass. much easier than a scoop. Strain that into your glass. And you really want to leave enough to top it up with a bit of soda. Not too much. Just about there. You might have a bit extra for a little top up. Your soda. My grapefruit didn't look very nice, so we don't have any grapefruit garnish, but I do have some dehydrated lemon. Give it a nice stir. Such a pretty color. Garnish. It's my homemade dehydrated lemon. Oh. This is such a good drink. The um, that little tiny bit of salt. So it's not salty. It just balances out the sweetness, and it is just super refreshing on a hot date. Hot. On a hot day. Hmm. I wonder when my husband's coming up. Hot day, actually. By the way, can you tell I've already had one? Anyway, thanks for joining. Remember to hit subscribe. See you next time.
bye